We finished entering data and formulas on our worksheet. Right now, it's only stored in the computer's temporary memory. So, we need to save it as a file on a disk. We'll save this file on our computer's hard disk. We open the file menu. It includes a save command and a save as command. The first saves the file under its current name. The second saves the file under a new name. We haven't named our file yet, so we'll choose Save As. We click on the Save As command. In this dialog box, we'll give the file a name and we'll save the file in a folder on the hard disk. We set up folders on a disk to help organize our files. Right now, the location is the My Documents folder, which is the default folder where Excel saves files. To save to the theater folder, which we've set up, we click to move up one level of the folder system. This is the main listing, also called the root directory, of our hard drive. To select our folder, we double-click on it. In the file name box, Excel suggests a temporary name for the file. We type in the name we want. It also shows that the file type will be a Microsoft Excel workbook. Excel will automatically add the extension XLS. Now we'll choose the Save button. The heavy outline around the button means it can be chosen by pressing Enter. We do, and our file is saved in the folder. Once we've given a file a name, it shows up in the title bar. Before we close the workbook, we'll do one last edit. We want the percent of sales label to be all uppercase, so we make that change. We're done with this file now, so we'll close it. We use the File menu. Notice that the bottom of the File menu shows our Summer Sales file. It will show the most recently used files. Later, if we want to work on a file again, we can open it easily by clicking on its name in the File menu. We choose Close, and a dialog box appears. It asks if we want to save the changes we made. We'll choose the Yes button. When we click on it, the file is saved and closed. Notice that most of the buttons in the toolbars become gray because there's no file to work with. They'll come back when we have another file open. Be sure to save your work often. If your computer locks up or loses power accidentally, you could lose any unsaved work. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to open a workbook file and improve its appearance.